Cayman Island, February 2024. The storm currently passing the Cayman Islands brought extensive damage and severe flooding to the north shore of the three islands. In a video posted on social media showed how some properties on Cayman Brack were saved from extreme damage by the sea grapes trees left to grow on the beach in front of them. According to the latest government update, a married warning remains in effect for all three Cayman Islands and residents are encouraged to take every necessary precaution, including exercising extreme caution on roadways. All government schools were closed just day due to the adverse weather conditions, but it has not been announced if they will remain closed tomorrow. Parents and guardians are advised to stay tuned to government releases for updates. A number of roads on Grand Cayman have been closed due to the severe weather conditions. Officials say that emergency response teams are actively monitoring the situation and are prepared to assist as needed. The Red Cross shelter located at 34 Hulda Avenue across from the farmer's market is open and residents are encouraged to for more information about their shelter. The Cayman Islands government recommends that the public continue to refrain from engaging in any in-water activities on all three islands, stay well back from the shoreline and ensure that marine vessels remain in a safe harbor and secured until further notice. The storm that ravaged the Cayman Islands that was captured in video started on Monday and continued into Tuesday, causing several yeah. flooding to the respective north shores of the islands. The Cayman Islands is a British overseas territory that consists of three islands, Grand Cayman, Cayman Drag and Little Cayman. Extensive damage from the storm primarily occurred in the Cayman Brack, which is the second largest island Still in the Cayman Islands. The government also requested that individuals stay well back from the shoreline and ensure that marine vessels remain in safe harbor and secured until further notice. A marine warning is in effect for all of the Cayman Islands for Monday and Tuesday as a strong cold front is expected to enter this area tomorrow morning. According to the Cayman Island National Weather Service, there is a strong high-pressure system behind the front over the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. As the front moves east of the Cayman Islands, near gale force winds and very rough seas are expected as the pressure gradient increases across the northwest Caribbean. According to the forecast, residents can expect to see wave heights of 4 to 6 feet through the day tomorrow. 
increasing to 9 to 13 feet overnight, with swells of 1 to 3 feet likely along the south and west coasts. On Tuesday, wave heights are expected to be 9 to 13 feet, decreasing to 8 to 10 feet by evening, with swells during the day Tuesday of up to 5 feet along western coasts. Winds on Monday will be moderate west to southwest, 10 to 15 knots in the early morning before veering westerly by the afternoon, rising to up to 20 knots with strong to near gale force west to northwest winds of up to 30 knots by late evening.